So I just want to do a quick review of a fidget spinner called the Vasano VKS. That's the Variable Kinetic Sculpture. It's made by a company called Vasoferin. You can see it right there on the button in the middle. And uh, Vasoferin, that's a guy's last name, he uh, mainly makes like uh, metal art and, uh, you know, like desk weights and stuff like that, uh, some knives and all. And he worked with a designer named Balzano, uh, I forget his first name. Uh, but those guys have collaborated before and they came up with this fidget spinner, probably getting on maybe six or eight months ago, maybe a year ago. Uh, and they, you know, did a big pre-order and they sold some of them, I guess. Uh, and they've been available on the secondary market for a while now. And I picked one up for a pretty nice deal. Uh, obviously, you could see this thing is a huge fidget spinner. Here is it relative to a torque bar. So uh, torque bar, again, reasonably sized, definitely on the small side, little fidget spinner. And here is the VKS or the Vasoferin or the Vasano, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'll call it the VKS from now on, just to be clear. And this thing is a huge hunk of titanium. And it's uh, interesting because it's, they call it a system because it's multiple pieces. So basically you have a big chunk of titanium. Specifically, this is ATI titanium, which is like a military grade strike plate, uh, which you could Google that if you're not familiar with it. Not that I'm any sort of expert. And uh, it has two weights in it. These weights pop out. And this is just a hunk of titanium with a little, uh, I guess it's rubber O-ring in the middle. And they pop out. You can see the O has a receptor there in the middle. And then you have the bearing in the middle. It's a 608 bearing, and it's a little tough to get out. Six-way bearing. You can see the uh, O-ring is degrading a little bit. But, uh, and then there's the titanium buttons on the ends. Bearing in the middle, it's a ceramic bearing held in place with a circlip or C-clip, whatever you want to call it. These are custom manufactured titanium buttons, very cool. It's a little grub screw, it's a little loose, not a big deal. And then here's the body itself. So basically this is the brushed ATI titanium. And these are satin finish. This is also sold in a satin finish body with brushed titanium weights. So basically you couldn't get this thing to match even if you wanted, you'd have to buy two to do that. They're sold in contrasting materials, uh, which is uh, definitely an interesting choice. And it was not really clear why they did that, but Kind of it is what it is. So it's definitely a quirky spinner. It's really big, not meant to be, you know, moved around or anything like that. And uh, not for everyone, not very pocketable. And, uh, you know, on the aesthetics, it's the kind of you love it or hate it. So uh, worth keeping that in mind. Not everyone's cup of tea. Retail price on this thing was $300. So definitely it's on the expensive side. They uh, briefly sold well above aftermarket prices, like in the, I don't know, three or $400, maybe like four to $500 range. But since then you could buy them for at retail or a well under retail, or you could trade for them. I think uh, it's a very cool piece for some people, but uh, as the market has declined, a lot of people have started to unload them. Uh, personally, I like keeping this on my desk. It just seems like a fun piece of sort of like executive art. And I really like it from that perspective. I would never carry this around with me, it's just too big. And at 160 grams, it's really quite hefty. So it's not something that you'd really wanna take with you. But it is really a beautifully manufactured piece. So if you're like just a fan of uh, American made metal work or manufacturing or uh, metal art or whatever you wanna call it, then this thing is really quite cool. So I think it would appeal to some of the people that are into higher end knives and those sort of things. But it's, uh, it's definitely kind of far removed from the typical fidget spinner or even a higher end little fidget spinner like the Torque Bar. So yeah, that's the Vasano Variable Kinetic Sculpture. 
multi-use fidget toy from Vasoferin. Very cool. I'm glad I purchased it. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or trade it away or what, but uh, it's just really, really well made and, and really quite unique. So I just, yeah, I just like, I really appreciate the, just the heft of this thing. It's quite interesting. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions.